Hello everyone, Dino Don here again with a update on the propeller for the Corsair project. What you can see here is I uh, mounted the prop in a little wooden jig so I could turn it down here. And then what I did is I put the cutter bit back in, brought it over here, depth, uh, dropped it down into the material and just spun it until it uh, until I got the whole thing round. So that's, that's as far as it needs to go. This is longer than I need. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take it out of this jig, cut this off, and then I'm going to sand this to shape. And what I've got going on here is a piece of aluminum tubing that's going to get glued right over this. And that will give me a perfect surface for when I uh, make the fiberglass molds. So. We're going to go ahead and get this out of the jig, get her sanded out, and then I'll, uh, I'll be back after I'm finished sanding it. Okay, I've finished doing the rough sanding of the prop. I used a DA sander with 36 grit and a little straight sander again with some 36 grit. And then this is where we're at. I got the thing cut off, trimmed down. That's just the uh, rough sanding. Now it's going to take some uh, fine sanding to trim it out, get this edge nice and clean, get this edge nice and clean, and then work on the hub a little bit here to straighten it out. And then I'll get it ready to epoxy in a piece of aluminum tube here. So I'm going to work on this hub a little more, get these edges cleaned up, get the rough scratches out of it. And that should be about it. <clears throat> for uh, painting as soon as this is done sanded and I get this epoxy to replace. So, that'll be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and do some hand sanding, fine sanding, put it down to the rest of its shape, and I'll be back. Alright, I've uh, finished sanding the propeller down to its final size. Got the finished sanding all done. This is all ready to go now. It's about as uh, good as it's going to get. <clears throat> Now, as you can see here on the end, I've added a piece of aluminum, actually several pieces, but it's basically two inches in diameter, and this is over long. It's, it's only going to be about two inches when it's finished in the, on the finished blades. And then I took some uh, micro balloons and epoxy slurry mix from the airplane build and fared this in nicely so it's ready to go. So now the next phase is to get this all in primer, get her some, uh, several coats of high build primer, sand it down, get it nice and smooth, look for any imperfections, and then it'll be ready to use for a pattern in the mold if everything looks good. <laughs> so the next thing after this is now is to build up the physical mold. And I have bought a piece of uh, foam board. It's like quarter inch thick with plastic sheet on front and back. It's used for making signs with vinyl stickers and stuff like that. Uh, that'll be put on because this side is nice and flat. And then start with that side. So the plastic board will go on the bottom here and it'll stick out uh, two, three inches all the way around this pattern, all the way up the end, and it'll come up to the center of this. And then once that's done, then I can uh, <clears throat> prep it, PVA it, wax it, and all that stuff. I'll probably use a um, gel coat finish to cover everything. The plastic will be the first layer, will be a gel coat brushed on. Then once that tacks up, and then I'll start laying uh, layers of fiberglass matted cloth on here to build the top mold. And after that sets and cures, and you flip the thing over, take off that plastic piece that was on there, and then re-wax, re PVA it, and then lay the top layers right around the top section, you know, lay this bottom section of uh, matted cloth. Build it all up as thick as I need it to make sure it's strong enough. And then once that cures, you should be able to pop the mold apart and pull the pattern out, inspect the mold, make sure there's no imperfections, touch up if needed sanded, and then it'll be ready to, to start laying the fiberglass. So that's going to be it for now. I'll try and get some, see if I have any primer. If not, I'll have to go pick some of that up. Today it's not too bad, it's going to be upper 40s. I'll be able to throw some paint on this, take it in the house and let it cure, and then be ready for wet sand. And uh, I'll come back after that's done, and that'll probably be the, the end of this video, and I'll get it uploaded as soon as that's ready. Uh, in the next 
Next goal is to start building the, the actual mold. And I'll go from there. All right, be back in a bit. All right, I got the uh, nice thick heavy coat of primer paint on the prop. I kicked it on pretty heavy and in spots that uh, had little pinholes here and there and kind of along this trailing edge there is rough because I was smearing with my finger to help fill in some pores. But uh, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for a couple hours. Then I'll take it in the house and let it set overnight. And then I'll get around to uh, sand it down some and I'm sure it'll take another coat or two on top of this to get her ready for the mold. I didn't do the hub end yet, but it's not critical at this stage. But right now I just need to get the wood grain out of the finish so you can't see it anymore. So, all right, that's going to be it for this video. I'll go ahead and compile this thing and get her on YouTube as soon as I can. So I want to pre say thanks to all my subscribers and everyone that takes the time to view my projects. Um, as long as this weather keeps going, I can piddle around out here and get some stuff done. I uh, did some cutting on that. I reconfigured my blasting cabinet. Ended up putting in a, a different pump. It's all internal now, so it's ready to be filled back up and do some more blasting. So, okay, that's going to be it for this uh, video update. Uh, keep post for any future updates. And again, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos. And uh, feel free to make any comments, concerns. All right, we'll catch you later then. This is Dino Don out.